is, um... Please excuse the general tiredness happening up here because I've just, um, just got back from America. I may or may not have bought a new baby home with me. Ta-da! Just kidding. <laughs> so yesterday I went into my local pet shop and I went to go and buy myself some supplies because with all my animals to feed at home I always need supplies. I need frozen mice for my snakes, I need a muesli mix for my hamster, my two geckos, my tenrex, my possum, my foster ferret, and my cockroach is cockroaches. I have a lot of animals at home, okay? Let's just get that clear. I love my local pet shop because they do really, really good work. Unfortunately for me, they have a rescue section. I've got a bit of a thing where I don't like to buy animals. If I can rescue or adopt, I far prefer to do that. And it's kind of... It's kind of my kryptonite. I go into the shop, I walk past all the animals that are for sale, I go straight to have a look at what might be available for adoption. And usually I just want to look at them, and my friends in the shop will let me play with them, and cuddle them, and love them, and ponder them, and where I could fit them at home. I just want to shout out to all the animal girls out there. The struggle is real. You know the struggle. Hit that like button if you know the struggle. And yesterday I walked straight to the feed section, which happened to be the reptile section, and I went to go and pick up my locusts for my animals at home. And then I made the biggest mistake ever. I glanced to my left. That's my right. I glanced to my right. <laughs> and in the corner of this little vivarium, I see the cutest little crested gecko just squidged, peeking behind a leaf at the glass at me. And anybody who doesn't know what a crested gecko looks like, they are just the cutest geckos ever. He was so tiny. I work with crested geckos, which are, you know, full adult size, sort of like, you know, nine, ten inches long. This one is like this big, and he's peeking at me, and there was a post-it note on it, which said, for adoption. I was like, oh my god. So I had to ask my friends in the shop. I said, what is the deal with this crested gecko? And they said that he got dumb. He actually was sold a couple of weeks ago, and then got returned because they changed their mind. So he's up for adoption. I was just like, <sighs> insert heavy breathing. And they said, Em, do you wanna, you wanna hold him? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I had him in my hands, and he was just, you know, he's super quick because he's not used to being handled, but he's just the most gorgeous thing. And I turn around after a little bit of time, and my friend who works in the pet store there, he's standing there with a tub, and he's like, I know you're going to take it home. I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so I want to introduce you guys to my new gecko. Hold on. Wait, do not move. So this little guy is my new gecko. He doesn't have a name yet, so if you have a name suggestion, please pop it down below. I would really appreciate a couple of suggestions. I think he's a boy. He's really good. Um, I can tell that he's been handled a little bit because, you know, he's not flighty. You know, typically you get baby geckos and they're leaping off into the abyss at every chance they get. They will literally be what like this and just leap off into nowhere and just splat on the ground so if you have a little crested gecko do be careful not to hold them too high up um because they do have a tendency to leap oh hello are you handsome i think you're very handsome oh okay let's let's walk on emma's nose this is a very fun game oh, i have a gecko on my nose <laughs> okay this this is a good look right here i i need this tattooed on immediately. Oh my god, gecko eyebrows. They're gonna be the new thing on Instagram. Oh, where are you going? Come back. Oh, oh my god, you're adorable. Oh, he's getting ready to jump. Here, jump here. You gonna jump? And launching in three, two, oh. It's okay, that happens to the best of men. Crested geckos are really commonly kept as pets. They're quite easy to keep. Um, it's not to say you should rush out and buy one, you know, you should give it serious consideration. And, um, you know, I've kept these guys extensively. I always know my limits. I never bring home more than what I can afford to look after, both in time as well as um, financially. So, it, you know, it is a responsibility. I just want to throw that out there. Please don't feel that it's okay just to rush out and buy something because it's cute, because... It's not fair. Ultimately, it's a life that you're responsible for. Everything that happens to him from now on is my responsibility. Um, equally, any animal you bring home is your responsibility. You know, they can't tell you when they're in pain or what they need, so you have to be able to provide them with 
as much care as possible. Everyone thinks that crested geckos have like suckers on their legs. He's actually got microscopic little hairs that help him to uh, climb up vertical surfaces and hold on. So that's a fun fact for you. If his progress continues, and I think it will, because um, he's just such a lovely laid back gecko, then he'll be coming with me um, on shows to meet children in schools to teach them all about um, exotic pet care and about the environment and yeah, just to be loved by people of all ages. We're going back on my face, that's okay. We can, you can, oh, okay, maybe maybe not the mouth. Do not repeat at home. Yes, uh, you can just, ah, 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 ugh, not recommended. And that is Emma's perfect example on how to catch salmonella. So I will let you guys know what name I choose and thank you in advance for your suggestions. Um, I do think he's a boy, but I could be mistaken, it could be a girl, but the paws are looking quite large, so I would say it's a male offhand, but you know, that can change. Still, I would be quite happy for him to be a little boy. Typically people always want pretty geckos to turn out being female because females can lay eggs and make you money. But he's not gonna be a breeder under any circumstances. Ah, oh, I'm being rude. So a little bit of exciting news that I wanted to tell you guys is that um, I'm gonna start featuring some of my workplace animals in my videos. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I basically work in animal education, animal encounters. So taking uh, animals into schools, giving talks. It is very exciting. I'm gonna start featuring some of my workplace animals in my videos. So. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you follow me on my social media, you will know that I work with a lot of different animals. Animals like fruit bats, armadillos, meerkats, birds of prey. Let me know what you'd like to see a video of. And in particular, if there's an, a, a particular kind of video you'd like, like the reproduction of the animals or how to handle them or just like general showing them off, just let me know. I'm gonna pop this guy back now because you are a superstar for your first time out. Yes, you were. I'm so happy with him, he is so cute. He's got this really lovely little fat belly and you know, he's just in great condition. So although he is a rescue, you know, he wasn't neglected or anything, I don't think. He seems in great condition. And he's still got his tail. These guys can lose their tails. So if you're handling a crested gecko, do be careful not to pinch them or to stress them out too much because they will drop their tail and they won't grow it back. Um, if they do drop their tail, you know, it's not the end of the world. Some people actually prefer it and call crested geckos who don't have their tails frog butts. Um, in fact, my boyfriend Danny and I, um, just two weeks ago in America, adopted a uh, frog butt crested gecko with a bulgy eye. I'm gonna, I have to show you him, he's the funniest thing. His name's Ziggy, as in Ziggy Stardust. This is Ziggy, and one of his eyes is um, a bit special. <laughs> we think it's because of head trauma, but we don't know for sure, he was, he was an adoption. Um, but yeah, this is my little dude. Let me know what your thoughts are and what his name could be. And for my current subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It means amazing things to me to see my subscriber count go up every single day um, my whole the whole reason for my channel this is kind of just like a creative outlet for me I like to talk I like to talk about animals um, so I have actually hidden my subscriber count uh, because it's not about the numbers for me but I just wanted to say thank you to each and every person who does watch my videos it means a lot and um, if you think that anyone would enjoy this video please share it um, if you liked it hit the like button if you didn't like it then you can hit the down button but why would you do that Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in another video again I hope very shortly. See you later. Bye!